I've had patients where I've walked in and they're still on the ventilator, but they're they're dead. Death. Amy Burke has seen it since she first started working at a hospital in Brooklyn, New York. The respiratory therapists manage your um, your breathing and uh, manage your care on the life support machine, the ventilator. That's what she did at Banner UMC in Tucson just two weeks ago. Today, she says she's treating up to 12 people at a time at the heart of the coronavirus pandemic in New York City. And I'm managing the care for that many people who are on ventilators, and I'm responsible for those amount of people for 12 hours straight. I think one day I had four or five patients die. It's a lot of death. It's it's a lot more than we're used to. If you think about just the death, uh, you'll get overwhelmed, and it will it will be very hard on you. So we try to focus on um, the people that we can help recover. We don't have time to be sad. We have two too many people that are depending on us to be on our A game so that they can get better. You may think the risk started for Amy when she decided to come to the front lines of the worst affected city in America. In fact, she says it happened back in Tucson at Banner UMC, where she chose to resign from her job there to help out in New York. I was approached about the job on a Sunday. Uh, I signed a contract on a Monday. I quit my job on Tuesday and I flew out on Friday. Will any of this change you? Oh. I think it already has. It's going to make us a lot more appreciative of uh, supplies and resources that we had before this. Burke says she's had supplies donated by friends, so that's really not a problem for her. But her after work routine is another concern all its own. I get home. um, I take my shoes off. I strip at my door and then I get directly into the shower and then boil the hospital off of me. (laughs) She says she's on contract until June in New York, but will stay if she's needed. She does hope one day to return back to Banner. As states begin the process of opening up and more people head out from quarantine, Burke says she hopes people will practice proper precautions, wearing gloves, masks, washing their hands. But if they don't... It's possible at some point in their path, they're going to meet someone like you who's going to help them. And we'll be here because that's what we do. Rahelia Modis, K Gun 9, on your side.